Good day, Dr. Safraz Khan Nazi. Welcome to today's discussion that we'll have on post-COVID era and the future of pharmaceuticals. Uh, we haven't seen the end of COVID yet. Uh, no country has been left or spared. We are seeing wave and wave again. Just uh, uh, see the situation with the India, uh, especially the low and middle income countries, it's not stopping. Uh, so what do you see? Uh, are we getting out of COVID anytime sooner? Well, it's a one question that everybody wants to know the answer. So to understand the answer, first you have to know what is this uh, pandemic? And take a, a very quick historic perspective on it, okay? Uh, viruses are not like bacteria. They don't live, okay? They're not living entity. These are just a piece of chemistry that have been floating around long, long before we came into existence or any life came into existence. So, and each one of us, you and I, and every animal you know, has billions of viruses in our body all the time, all the time. But they're not the bad guys, okay? They're not bad viruses. They don't harm us at all. But what happens is that if the virus in my body, which is not harmful, goes into the body of another species, which is not ready to accept it, it can cause a havoc. So what is the havoc? The havoc is that this virus can only survive, first of all, in a living body. So if you leave it on the table, if you leave on the glass, it will just die. There's nothing it can do. So there's a lot of misconceptions about the cleanliness and um, other ways of removing it. It dies by itself. Okay. Once it goes into the body, it's a chemistry which is a coding. It's like an offset printing press. It goes in your body cells and tells the cells, make more of me. Now the body cells have no way of knowing whether this command is coming from somebody who came from outside or a command that the body gets almost every second, make me this protein, make me that thing. And the body system keeps going it. Of this virus code is such that it keeps telling the cells to make more and more until the cell disrupts and opens up. It just blows up. And now you have the virus going into all the other cells. This virus especially affects the lung cells. And that's exactly what happens. Okay, you, you start to um, uh, damage the lining of your lungs so you can no longer breathe and you die of suffocation. So that is the how the disease starts and how we end with the disease. Now, we all know that it is started from a very simple one place in China. Today, we have air travels and we have movement of people. Look at this, okay, from, I'm sure it came out with one person, one person, and it went across the globe. So the spreadability is out there, but it also depends on how the virus spreads. Some viruses don't spread by inhalation or by air. So they are much slower in, in spreading, like uh, you're talking about HPV or HIV. But this virus is uh, floats in the air, but viruses don't have wings, okay? So they don't fly in the air, they only, uh, fly on top of the moisture of the droplets that we give out when we talk, when we sneeze, or basically when we open our mouth. So this virus that we're talking about, the coronavirus or COVID-19, like every other virus is not going anywhere, number one. Five years from today, we will still find this somewhere, but not as widespread as more people become vaccinated or immune to the virus. So virus is not going anywhere. One of the biggest mistake many countries made, a good example is Vietnam, Taiwan, they were taking pride, okay, that we don't have any COVID here. We did a great job, Australia, boom, 
they got hit back again on. So there is no assurance that this virus will leave us, even though we may see it up and down as we have seen in every country, until such time that you have a vaccination in place. And not only just vaccination in place, but at least 70% of the population vaccinated, then you can say that the risk is reduced to an acceptable level. Yeah.